we are looking at the role of uh, 3D ultrasound using the 3D probe which we have discussed earlier. Here we are trying to look at different dimensions of usage of the software that Samson has developed in their WS80 machine. And let's look at what are the features that are there. Now you have the conventional features, 2D image and a 3D image. This image, you can make it into four sections and then you can adjust the image in different sections so that you get the different pictures. You can also rotate the image to get different images and then adjust the gain so that you get different images. Then you can go back to the original image and then adjust it. Here you are seeing the uterine cavity and here you are seeing the uterine outline. And then this is the junctional zone which I will be decreasing the gain for you to make and see the junctional zone very very clearly. Then another fascinating aspect Samson has developed is the crystal view. In crystal view, you get a real different dimension of the image. And if I make it into a single image and show you the beauty of this, this is the outline, the zeros are layered. This is the myometrium layer, which I'll use the myometrium layer. This is the uterine cavity and this is the junctional zone and you can see inside the uterine cavity any structures. Then if you want to look at further these images, you have a light section to focus it like a torchlight into the area of interest and as you see that I am trying to increase and show you from different planes so that if there is any pathology that is there, you will be able to pick up. Then there is one more feature called Invert Feature, where you are actually seeing the interior of the cavity, which will help you to look at the spaces. And then if you turn down the gain further, you find small polyps, synechia, or elevation of the endometrium or any deformity at the fundus level. If I add this image, what will we look here is entirely in a different dimension here. And once I invert it back into the original position, I have the uterus. Then I can also look at this in a further different way, which I'll show you in a second. If I want to look at the uterus from a side plane. This I have rotated it and then look at the side plane and then make it in a single image and then adjust it. You are seeing the beauty of the whole thing in a really fantastic way. You are able to see the uterine cavity, the junctional zone, and the myometrium. And as you rotate it, you'll be able to see how the uterine cavity is getting back into the normal. And then you can also always bring it back into the right position and see the ostia here and the junctional zone. Now I can add the uterus here. This is the fascinating aspect of the crystal view and this is just the beginning. It is a very, very preliminary presentation and a lot more can be done if we have offline editing tool or sit at the monitor and do the post-processing where it makes a huge difference in your management of uterine pathology, be it in cervical incompetency, post-pregnancy, abortion evaluation 
for evaluation of uterus in an infertile patient. This is the wonder and one should learn not just to acquire the image but do post-processing. Post